Yeah, we're coming at you from the Billy C. Studio in Lake George, New York. I'm Bill Calagero, and it's time for Billy C.'s Change My Mind. And joining us right now for, uh, actually, it's the second round of, uh, of Billy C.'s Change My Mind, Alex Papali joins us. What's up, brother? Hey, Billy C., how you doing? Not too bad, man, not too bad. Uh, today we're going to do uh, something that... Uh, you know, I I, I really I, I really wasn't sure uh, what your uh, what your thoughts were on this, but it's been a topic that's been discussed a lot uh, in the sport a, a, as well as on our shows. And um, basically, what it is is uh, should the government control boxing? Should there be a government-run boxing commission? Now, there are other countries that that do do this, uh, uh, but the United States uh, does not at this point, uh, as everyone knows. Every single state has their own governing governing commission, and um, Senator John McCain uh, uh, is uh, trying to uh, uh, get something in place uh, as a government-run commission. Uh, I know Teddy Atlas has been supportive of it and everything else. Alex, you're supportive of it to a degree. Change my mind, man. I, I'm not. I, I don't think the government should be involved in, in, in any sport, uh, let alone boxing, and, and I personally don't think that it could be better. I, I think the corruption um, that we face right now on a state level would uh, would be even worse with the government. Change my mind, man. All right. Now, I, forget I, it. It's over. You didn't change. <laughs> <laughs> I go into this with a little bit of trepidation. <laughs> I went down in flames. Our first uh, change my mind effort here, but here we go. Like he's back at it. Um, <laughs> well, I, yes, I, I I hear your um, your your fears and your concerns about it, and I. I agree, uh, at least partially, that, um, you know, government is not the answer to everything. But um, I do think that, uh, you know, a lot of the sort of anti-government screeds that we hear a lot uh, in political circles these days, um, a lot of them are way out of whack um, and more bluster than they are reality. Because, you know, when it comes down to it, a lot of people like their federal, federal programs, like things like Medicare, um, you know, uh, th things that people are used to. And, and, and that's one of the things that um, government can do well is, um, uh, you know, account uh, taking care of lots of people uh, and not having to do it uh, in a for-profit type manner. I think a lot of times for-profit industries, come, you know, people get lost in the shuffle there because the idea of making money is the primary concern. Um, I think there's definitely, in a sport like boxing, there's things that just the health of the fighters uh, are very important, that um, uh, some sort of oversight uh, is required. Um, there is, as you uh, alluded to, there are some um, political controls already, but they're mostly in the form of uh, state boxing commissions, now, those even tend to be, in a lot of states, overseen by a politician um, who does get changed from administration to administration. Uh, unless you're dealing with a tribal commission, then it's not really um, elections. It's tribal elections that would put them in power. But for the most part, the promoters, the sanctioning bodies, are more the ones in control at this point. I think that that's unfortunate because things like fighter health, uh, are secondary to making things um, comfortable for promoters to do business. And I think a national commission, uh, at least doing things like um, keeping track of CAT scans of every professional fighter, um, keeping track of their names and identities so fighters can't go from state to state where maybe they got knocked out in one state and then they go to the next state you know, within a couple of weeks and fight again under a different name. Uh, those kind of things can happen today, and I would think that with a national commission, those would be the things that we're trying to redu reduce, as well as making sure judges, um, you know, uh, are, are sanctioned and tested, and, um, and that there, there's decisions that are fair, as well as uh, promotional deals that are fair. Right, let's... Uh, because, I mean, let's face it, there this is a consumer sport in the sense that when consumers pay money to watch it, you want them to get their money's worth in terms of something fair uh, and safe. And okay. I think 
in that case, uh, there is a sense that regulation would certainly help. Okay, let, let's just let's just dissect it a little bit because these issues that you bring up, I, I actually agree with you. I, it, it first of all, I'm I 100 percent, 150, 100. Uh, you get the idea. I, I'm totally agree agreement with you on a more um, universal medical. I know you were alluding to the safety and, and you mentioned head scans and stuff. So so the medicals right now, just so everybody understands, the medicals right now are actually done state by state. And Alex made a fantastic point. A lot of times a fighter that may have an opportunity to, to, to get involved in a fight uh, sometimes gets passed by because of the medical requirements uh, that may be different from one state to another. So therefore, that fighter that may not have um, something that's required in another state, he doesn't get um, you know, considered for that fight, therefore losing a payday, losing an opportunity, and, and so on and so forth. I agree with Alex, and I, you know, I, I do believe that there should be a uniform and standardization of the medical testing and everything else. But my problem lies back on the word federal. Now, I also agree with Alex about the federal government being able to do. Um, I, I could sense Alex going, "Oh God!" When he agrees with me, man, I know I'm getting ready for something. You know, it's it's anyway. That's my mind wandering off to, uh, trying to think for Alex, which I that's impossible for me to do. But uh, the bottom line is this: I agree that the federal government. Um, can run programs, and like Alex uh, used as an example, I'll, I'll use the same thing, like Medicare or Social Security and what have you. Um, I think that uh, obviously the government uh, uh, not only runs it, I, I believe they should, okay? But I believe that this is a different situation, and, and I'll tell you why. The, right now the states that do uh, have boxing commissions, most do, um, that is already a government-controlled commission, and what we see is exactly the same uh, example that Alex used, where a politician gets appointed to that position uh, for whatever reason, whether you know they uh, owed a, were owed a favor or, or they got an opportunity, they got a raise or whatever, they furthered their career, bam, now they're in charge of the boxing uh, on a state level. And, and I believe that that same approach would happen on a federal level, which makes it just as bad, if, if not worse. Now, instead of having uh, a, a, a state to state where you may have corruption or, or inept uh, uh, judges and, and, you know, the same uh, rule, the same things that uh, Alex mentioned, I, I think it even becomes compounded and magnified that, that we could actually be in a worse situation um, than we are from state to state. Um, what's your thoughts on that? Yeah, I, I, I definitely agree that that, that that is something to be concerned about. I don't think that automatically the result could be something negative because I think that what we would need would be, let's put it this way, uh, yeah, I'm definitely uh, politically more of a left-leaning person. I mean, traditionally people use the word liberal. However, liberal and conservative don't mean today what they used to. Uh, so I prefer the word uh, radical or a lefty. And in that sense, I do believe the, the old adage by Lord Acton that power corrupts or power tends to corrupt and absolute power corrupts absolutely. And I also agree with uh, radical journalist I.F. Stone uh, saying all governments lie. So if you were to use, use the government as your solution, what you need is it needs to be something that answers to, um, you know, what our government is meant to be, in that it answers to the inf an informed citizenry, so that there would be some sort of an appellate process or at least um, a co government commission or, or, you know, the, the politicians you have have to answer to the public. If there's an outcry about something, they're, they're, you're going to be forced to respond to that. Uh, that there would be some sort of avenues where protests could be lodged if, say, someone was appointed that um, everybody felt was just completely inept, that there would be some form of appellate process or a way to challenge that. But you're right. I do think that that is something to concern people to be concerned about. But I think that what, what we've seen um, at all levels of our government in the past 10 years is that 
the people, once there is some sort of government oversight, it's the people with the most money that become uh, the ones who are even to the point of writing the legislation that controls their industry. We see this with Wall Street. We see this with the credit card companies that rewrote the bankruptcy laws. We see this with the petroleum industry. Once you find out about, like, you know, the... Uh, the BP oil disaster in the Gulf of Mexico. I mean, there was just federal agencies that were supposed to oversee, the, oversee things like that, that they just walk away because the people with the most power in the room and the most money want them to. So that would have to be something we watched out for with the National Com Commission because you wouldn't want the promoters to then be able to push the National Commission to, around to do whatever they wanted. So absolutely, I, I agree with you with the, the potential fears. However, and maybe that's one of the things that I think would, would have to come with it, is not only a commission, but there would have to be a fighter's union that would come along with it. Unless the commission, the national commission was very small, and it only did a few things, like regulate um, and see to it that, all officials uh, are tested under the same standards to see that all medicals are up to date and accurate. Maybe PED, uh, they would adopt like something like the voluntary anti-doping agency's um, practices. But yeah, I, I think that having it be a government-run thing is probably the only way to force some sort of accountability. Because right now, all those deals are done in secret, and we don't know. At least if it was, well, the hope would be if it was government controlled, there would be some access to people to see what was going on. Well, listen, there's a lot of hope, you know. You know I'm going to throw the, the, the failure of the post office at you, but I won't even, you know. Here, let's look at it this way. You, you made a great point. You said, you know, if, if the government was running the sport and there was an issue, you know, a la, you know, bad decisions, uh, you know, a, a, a proven corrupt uh, referee or whatever, that they would have to answer for it. But you also said that, you know, with, with your statements, the, the two statements that you, you made uh, a few minutes ago, that all government lies. Or, you know, I mean, so, so of course, listen, he, I posed a question one time to Tim Luckenbaugh from, from the ABC Boxing Commission. And I asked him, you know, why can't they just standardize the medical requirements for all the states? Because I think that that's – honestly, Alex, I think that that's 99% of the issue here. Um, I, I believe that the medical requirements, if they were all standardized, I think that a lot of issues would go away. And, and, and of course, that doesn't have anything to do with poor judging and everything else, but, but I believe it's a start. But Tim told me that there's a law that a, the federal government can't dictate from state to state what their own laws would be. And, and that's the problem with trying to standardize the, uh, the medicals. My question is, is, how, you know, is it because the federal government takes over, now all of a sudden the rules change? I mean, wouldn't they have the same uh, issue, you know, number one? Number two, you know, no other sports... Uh, is is got the government with their hands in it? You know the NFL, the Major League Baseball, hockey, basketball, and so on and so forth. No other one does. Now, granted, they all have leagues, they all have unions, like you mentioned. And and I'm not saying that maybe a boxers union isn't isn't the answer. Uh, however, you know how, how do you just say okay from this day forward it, it, it's going to be the way it is? I mean we are, we have an infrastructure in place with the sport of boxing, be it as it may, it, it's not a good one, but but we're stuck with it, you know. I mean, I mean these these money, um, you know, suckers, uh, which we call sanctioning bodies that that are there that that make a living, literally, off of uh, the fighters and and fights and championships and what have you. I mean, how do you get them to to release to release their grip, you know, uh, on the sport? How do you get them to release their grip on the promoters and the television networks and all of these things? I, I just don't see the government coming in with the, with the S on their chest and, and, and making everything right. Well, I think that's, that's why it would have to be small, and they would have to do uh, specific things. And I think the smaller the structure uh, of the organization would be helpful. 
because you don't want, you're right, I mean, I, I wouldn't want some massive organization that uh, has lots of political appointees and has their hand in every fight in every state. Um, no, I, I don't necessarily think that that's going to solve anything because I think, like, like, uh, like I was alluding to, uh, that what would happen is the people with the most power, uh, the most money in the room would end up running it. And um, that would be most likely the promoters or the networks or something like that. And you don't want that. You would want, you would want, the whole idea would be to increase fairness. Because let's talk, let, let, let's, the, when this gets talked about most, and we're coming off a year when it was brought up again uh, this past June, was when there's outrage. And what sparked it this year was the Timothy Bradley, um, Manny Pacquiao decision, which, which everyone who watched it um, thought, wait a minute, something screwy just happened. That, that did not look like the decision, the, the decision that should have been rendered. Uh, unfortunately, I, I think that, you know, sometimes things get, um, you know, the outrage might come from the wrong quarters because I think people, the mainstream, I think certainly took a lot more uh, interest in boxing at that point because, you know, a lot of people were upset who don't usually watch boxing like Justin Timberlake and Lady Gaga. Well, uh, they were upset. They tweeted they were upset with that decision but that how, Manny should have won. But how so, does the government fix that? How, does the, how, how, do, well, how can exactly, the government? I think that that's one of those things that Harry Reid and John McCain did propose in June after that um, the Professional Boxing Amendments Act and what they would say, what they claimed would include would be it would oversee boxing match matches it would administer and enforce federal laws and it would fight conflicts of interest uh, it would create the UBC which is the United States Boxing Commission and it would certify and train judges um, you know now those things all sound good but to me um, oversee boxing matches I mean how much oversight are we talking about I mean would they get into the practice of ranking fighters, um, or would they just try? Because that could be beneficial if they forced sanctioning bodies to justify their rankings. Yeah, but where did they get the people? You, where did they get the people? You see, this is where the problem is. Boxing right now, the way it's it, it, it's it's it works now without the government with their claws in it, right? I mean, right now, the biggest argument I have about the powers that, that run the sport, and again, it's like no other sport on, on the planet, are generally non-boxing people. You know, right. the, the, the same people that get appointed to, to that position that, with the commission or, or the, the television exec that's, that's making the decision on which fight he wants, you know, or she wants, you know. So, so I mean, it's the only sport on the planet that has, the, you know, non-boxing people, non people that are related to that field of play it, it, making the decisions so so I, I listen i can't see there's no way that you could convince me really um that that the government could be the the knight in shining armor however i do believe now that now this, this isn't actually you know admitting that i'm going to change my mind but i want to bounce something back at you because listen you could tell me all the reasons uh, why the government could uh, you know, help and, and police and rankings and get so deep and everything. And I'm going to come back and I'm going to say, well, who's going to be the people in charge? Are they going to be able to find boxing people that the sport of boxing can't seem to find right now? So, I listen, I, I can't buy it. But let me ask you this. The ABC right now, uh, the ABC Boxing Commission, uh, you know, is, is set up to basically police the uh the 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 commission state by state however it's voluntary they do not a state does not have to belong now, i got into an argument with somebody about this one time in the chat room but a state does not have to belong to the abc they all do it voluntarily they 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 want to all conform to something my idea is is along the government lines and if you want to put the government in there um how about an agency alex an agency a small agency that oversees a a a, 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 a company, uh, you know, or a, a group, an agency, however you want to call it, like the ABC. Let the ABC, you know, collectively try to uniform different rules and stuff, and and have the the feds 
uh, stamp of approval and just have someone oversee the ABC just to check and balance, you know, with the with the ABC to make sure that the ABC isn't uh, starting to run a little crazy. Do you think something like that could work? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I would assume that that, well, I, I, I would think that the ABC would probably find that, you know, unnecessary because the whole point of why they fund the ABC was to sort of to do exactly that, that the idea that they were would be agreeing to somebody to police them I mean, I'm not sure they would want that. But. Well, but but they can't. But but the problem is, is that I, you know I'm in the state of I don't want to mention a state because I don't want to speak for a state. But let's say I'm in the state of X Y Z, and I all of a sudden decide that I you know what I don't want to be part of uh, uh, the ABC. I, you know, this guy was suspended or, or for a stupid reason. We we have a fight card in our state. You know, this guy wants to fight. I'm not going to oblige by the suspension that that the other. Uh, states obliged to. We're going to permit this guy to fight. Uh, you know, they test him. He, he tests out fine. He doesn't have any medical issue. Um, and, and they let him fight. You know, and and now the ABC gets mad at them. And, and what can they do? Nothing. Well, I think that that's one of the things where um, an organization would allow for avenues like that, where if there was some sort of grievance, that there would be a, a procedure you follow to lodge a, grie- a grievance um, that maybe then there would be arbitration that would be, um, you know, have to come in to solve it. Um, tape you know, that there after would be tape. avenues to, to, to address issues like that. And, and, of course, there's always the court of public opinion. And, I mean, I, that's my uh, thing that I think is the solution to most things is an informed citizenry. Um, I mean, that's one of the reasons why, you know, I don't call myself a liberal anymore, because if you're a liberal, you think, you know, electing Barack Obama solved all the problems, and that's just ridiculous. That's where I come back to the, the, the quote from I.F. Stone, all governments lie, of course. Well, as an informed citizen, that's why you've got to keep them honest, and you've got to pay close attention. So... I think that the the answer is just because all government lies doesn't mean everything with government is bad. It means you need to be an active participant in uh, in you know policy making in paying in just paying plain paying attention. And I think that would be um, what would if there was a commission created. I think everybody in boxing uh, who cares about the sport, who makes their living in the sport, would be very attentive to those first appointments to see who got those jobs. And if there was, um, you know, an outright, just like we just saw, you know, in the appointing of, um, you know, the new Secretary of Defense, Chuck Hagel, you know, they have, a, they have a Q&A session and then they vote on them. I mean, if there was a policy like that, uh, procedures like that to follow, that of, w- of how the people got appointed on the commission, I think that that would answer a lot of those questions because at least then there would be a public airing of who's getting these jobs. It, it isn't just done in a back room and then they're trotted out, here's the commission, deal with it. Yeah, but you know what? We fall prey to the same BS that the government does right now. And, and right now we have a, a, a huge disruption that's been going on for, for decades between the Republicans and the Democrats. And, and you have a, a, a Democratic uh, president in there. You have a Democratic, uh, uh, you know, uh, people getting appointed at, let's say, that this, this federal commission uh, of sorts gets, gets created. And, uh, you know, they have the, I'm just using Democrat as an example because they're current now. You know, they, they get it put in there. And, and next thing you know, are they making decisions for boxing or are they making decisions for the political party? You know, I mean, we have the same thing now. There's, there's, there's politicians that, uh, you know, uh, say things, uh, you know, anonymously that they disagree with things that they actually vote for just because they do it for the strength of their own party. And, 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 and wouldn't boxing fall prey to the same type of shenanigans? I mean, I, it just doesn't seem uh, our government needs to, to get back on their feet somehow uh, and, and, and g- gain the confidence of its people. I mean, we, you know, we are so divided right now with, with our own government. I just can't see them taking on more burden. I, I disagreed with them getting involved in, in the auto industry and in the banking industry, and I, I'm one of these guys that disagree with it. I feel that they should focus on 
you know, the national issues, that's it. You know, and to extend it even further into the sports arena uh, and, and, and boxing, where, where, you know, out of all sports, it's the easiest to, to get inside and, and corrupt. I mean, you know, uh, you got two people fighting against each other, whether it's a male or female uh, bout. You know, you have three judges, you have a referee. That's it. I mean, I, you know, it's easy uh, compared to other sports, team-oriented, league, uh, um, you know, based, uh, to, to infiltrate that, to, to maybe have somebody, uh, you know, do something that they're not supposed to, you know. So I, I just... I, I just don't have confidence in our government to be able to to run it any better than than it's being run. I, I just believe that that our options are are out there. We we have we have the the parts of a puzzle that that are uh, you know uh, we got the whole box full. Now we just got to put it together and and you know I, I just don't think that the government is the answer. I, you know, I agree with your 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 points about the medicals and and you know you know having it public and 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 you know seeing who's getting appointed and maybe on a state level if you disagree uh, you know in this case I live in the state of New York if you disagree that the current commission uh, you know shouldn't have been appointed uh, you know what's our options do we vote on it you know all those are great uh, ideas but just to blanket it under the feds I, I just I, I just can't see it working, bro. Well, I hear you, and I and I do think that uh, some of the issue here is that you you like a lot of a lot of people in this country. You've drank that um, dark elixir of um, anti-government uh, sentiment that's been peddled since you know Ronald now Reagan. You keep and, you keep and your and nose out like of one. Grover Norquist with the idea that. Um, you know, he wants to take government into the bathtub and drown it. Um, hey, you, you know, keep I, my I drinking to yourself, pal. You, you, you don't be looking in my glass of drink. <laughs> well, I'm just—I can't help but <laughs> that's what I'm hearing. <laughs> but um, the—I uh, mean, I think the example of the post office uh, is, is does, just doesn't hold water because in 2006 they passed the Postal Accountability and Enhancement Act, and what that did was force the post office to prepay health and pension benefits for the next 75 years, something no corporation even does. It's sort of the re a reverse form of Enron accounting. So, of course, it, why did they do that? Because elements in our government want it to collapse so that then that industry, too, could be privatized. So I, I think that that's one of the things. I mean, there's lots of people that want to privatize everything out there. Um, and I think that in a case with boxing, that, yeah, there are things to worry about in terms of, um, uh, you know, political appointees and people that get in there that are just doing favors for people or, or get the job because they're doing favors. But those are things that we would, would, of course, you know, have to, as a citizen of this country, have to pay attention to and have to talk about when we see that that might be happening. But I think the, the good that it could do in terms of fighter health, just in, in, in forcing a uniform form of PED testing, something along the lines of Margaret Goodman's uh, VADA group, um, as well as the CAT scans, uh, maintaining a federal registry of uh, head scans for all professional fighters, those, just those two things. Um, and personally, I would like to see some sort of a pension um, program started for fighters because it's criminal the amount that these guys give to the sport and then end up destitute. I mean, that nothing breaks my heart more than that. Oh, I, I so, agree. I agree with you 100%. I agree with you with, with your ideas. I just don't think that the government is our answer. I think that we can do it. And I say we, meaning the boxing people that are involved. I think we can do it just like all the other sports did. We don't need to rely uh, on the government. You know, our, our segment, it, it, it flies by. It's already over. But here's the thing. I want to make one point. Um, and I, let me get this out of the way. No, you didn't change my mind. Right? But, but, but let, me, let, let me make one point. And stop telling people what the hell I'm drinking, damn it. You know, I told everybody coffee, but no. You know, uh, uh, Teddy Atlas was, was a, a huge uh, advocate for, for a government-run commission, and he's been on that soapbox for literally years. And uh, Senator John McCain, and, and, and every chance Teddy Atlas got, he would promote that we need a government-run commission until the last time I heard him say something. 
and it was the beginning of this year, and he was he was on his soapbox again. And what he said was that he said, "What I believe we need is a is a uh, a government committee that's formed to oversee the boxing commissions." That's I, I do agree with something like that, but not a government run commission. I, I just you know a, 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 a committee that oversees to make sure that the, that the paperwork is filled out, to make sure that the T's are crossed, the I's are dotted, that everybody's fighting on, the, on a level. I, I love your, 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 uh, your idea about um, uh, PED testing across the board. It should be a mandatory. I, I think one of the, the main things, and I've made it very clear, I, I think an easy fix of, of safety for the fighters would be uh, to, to have a, a mandatory head scan prior to issuing a federal ID it would give – uh, you know, doctors' future, uh, uh, you know, potential cases to 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 compare uh, a head scan with. You know, I I agree with that kind of stuff. I I think that we we need that. As far as a pension plan, geez, you know, when a fighter gets fined a uh, million dollars or or gets uh you know a piece of his purse taken away, those monies right now go to the commission. But but some of those monies should go to a a a fund for a for a pension and all of that. Yes, I agree with all of that, but we don't need the government to make that happen. We could do it on our own, just like the NFL did, just like uh, you know NHL, NBA, blah, blah, blah. Yes, we don't have a league per se, but we could slowly form some kind of a union or, or, or something along those, way, uh, along those lines. So I, I do agree with, with your reasoning for a government. I just don't think that the government can handle it. I, I really don't. And and I don't have faith in our government. You're right. I don't. I, I want them to concentrate on, on the governmental issues and, and leave sports uh, to ourselves. You know, let, let well, us... And I think that that's one of the reasons why that, that piece of legislation that uh, Harry Reid and McCain um, uh, introduced in June hasn't gone anywhere. Because right now, like you mentioned... Um, right now, the policy of the Republicans in Congress is to filibuster everything. Um, so, they, I mean, they don't want um, anything. McCain's that, uh, a Republican. To, they, they want to, that's their, the policy is obstruction. So the only piece of legislation that get taken up are ones that they know have a chance of making it. So this Boxing Reform Act is certainly not one of them. Well, I mean, the guy doing it is a Republican. So I mean, don't yeah, blame the Republicans. A lot of times, that's the, that that bipartisan window dressing we have. Well, listen, man. At, we we both agree on one thing that we need to do something, and we need to do something quickly. We both agree on that. Whether or not the government, uh, I, you know, I I think we need to look into more of the restrictions uh, of why the the state to state commissions uh, can't and don't take. Uh, a, a, a more aggressive approach to to becoming more uniform uh, with their medical requirements and stuff like that. that I, I think that maybe that should be the first uh, uh, order to uh, to get in place here. At least in my oh, opinion, I agree. I think that that's the thing we need to we need to put the most important uh, importance on is fighters' health. And if you did something with CAT scans and PEDs, that would be. That would just be terrific. Well, Alex, you know, uh, damn it, we're, we're gonna we're gonna give you uh, we're gonna we're gonna give you an A for effort. Uh, you know, uh, this was a tough one, especially government. You know, so far you've picked like the two toughest things. You know, that's like trying to convince me I'm not Italian. You know, you change my mind. Am I Italian, Alex Papali? Yeah, Alex is gonna change my mind if I'm Italian or not. You know, yeah, I, yeah, okay. I, I, I could, I'll be like the Emmanuel Augustus of uh, the Billy C. Change my mind. He he, he gets brought in there. It's going to be a tough slog, but he's going to give it to the law. No, but but I mean, the point is, is we're on the same page. The only main difference that we have is I don't think that our government is the answer. I, I do wish that there were um, more explanation of why the state to state to state commissions can't all follow the same medical. I, 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 listen, I think that's one step, one step that boxing could take. That would make uh, reap benefits. I, I just think that, that the safety level and the 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 uh, uh, amount of opportunity would open. 
um, you know, because now it's it's just a, a matter of travel difference. You know, bringing a kid from uh, Oklahoma to fight in New York or, or bring a kid from New York to fight in California, whatever the case is, becomes just a travel issue. It doesn't become, oh, well, geez, we got to, you know, he needs a head scan. He needs this. He needs that to fight here. Forget it. We're going to get somebody close, you know. So so uh, more, even people involved in the sport are, are, are becoming victims of the lack of uh, unity from, from the commissions. Yeah. You know, so I, I think if we could make one change that could be positive, it would be that. But anyway, we're well over our time. Alex, thank you very much for uh, <laughs> thank you very much for taking, uh, you know, taking these shots and uh, deflecting them as best you can. But no, unfortunately, Alex didn't change my mind. But he, I agree with all of his points. I just don't believe that the government uh, should be at the hub of it, but maybe uh, some kind of consolation where they, they form a committee. Uh, make sure paperwork is, is filed. Make sure things that happened in New York a couple of months back never happens. Uh, uh, maybe something uh, with uh, a committee overseeing it could have prevented uh, that whole glove situation. But nonetheless, you didn't change my mind. But damn it, we're going to give you another shot, all right? All right, Billy C. Sounds good. All right, man. Make sure you tune in to LDL TV to catch uh, next week's uh, episode of Billy C's Changed My Mind. We'll see you then. Ciao.